Tonight at 11 o'clock, a teenager and two police officers are safe after getting trapped in an icy pond. Tonight, how all three made it out alive. Crews are cleaning up after a house fire tonight in Central Point. What the crews were able to do to get that fire out. And a Rogue Valley Manor employee is dead after an accident in a bank parking lot. How police are saying the woman was run over by the car she had been driving. Watching out for you. This is News Watch 12 at 11. New 11 tonight, a structure of fire in Central Point this evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Morton. The fire happened on the 4000 block of Grant Road. Did significant damage to what appeared to be a carport connected to some kind of a structure. Also heavily damaged an RV parked in that carport. Four engines got there at about 530 this evening after getting reports of smoke coming out of a window of that building. According to the firefighters, there were heavy flames and smoke coming from the back structure. It only took about 15 minutes, though, to get that fire out. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. No one was hurt. We'll have more information when that becomes available. A veteran pilot is dead after his helicopter crashed south of Ashland. 69-year-old Timothy Lyon was flying an Ericsson helicopter when it went down about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. We now know the helicopter left the Rogue Valley Metro International Airport yesterday afternoon. The crash happened during a routine proficiency flight. Jackson County Search and Rescue said it went down in a steep wooded area. It was southeast of Interstate 5 off Exit 6. It took the search and rescue teams nearly three hours just to hike into the crash site. The pilot was from Port Bolivar, Texas. Lion was highly experienced. He said he flew for the U.S. Marine Corps and the Army Reserves for nearly 20 years. He had worked for Ericsson for nearly 19 years. He was a very experienced.